Crusader Kings 2. This is the War of Conquest. And we're back with our man, Emperor Caesarion the Great of New Valyria. And last episode, we incited Lord Paramount Jonos of the Vale to rebel against his rightful emperor. He would dare. He would dare indeed. And we are now in full open war with him. Um, it seems he's got some friends since he's got the high septon and he has, a, he has lord he has lord cleos of, of rosby okay so I, for some reason i thought he was part of the defenders and i thought oh shit what have we done what have we done but no we are we are we are here to destroy the falcon and apparently rosby as well and when we do when we do we will take the veil away from him and probably rosby too i don't think we can usurp the high septon but we can take away Ros rosby and the veil and we can install some new loyal lords Loyal lords. And I think we're going to need to be... Oh, we have two children. Elena and Ray. Two... All oh, right. Right, right. People are giving me ideas for changing names and stuff like that. Hmm. Princess Elena. Princess Ray. Hmm. Right. I think... I think somebody suggested changing Princess Ray's name. And I think the name was... Let's see here. Pay a little, pay a little homage to the people in the comment section. We we'll change you to Aurora. Somebody said that was a much better name, and I agree. I agree, much better. And she's attractive too, so that, so that makes sense. That makes sense. Um, so let's go ahead and destroy these guys. Are we for, forbidden, forbidden from command? No. Um, yes. Let's get our men. Let's get our men. We're gonna need boats too. We're gonna need boats. And we're gonna need to let loose. Let let loose the dogs of war. Alright, get our ships over here. Go ahead. Ah, they already go on the offensive. Not only has Lady Paramount Daria Martell chosen to support me in the war against Lord Paramount Jonas Aaron, she has pledged eternal loyalty to House Targaryen on behalf of House Martell. Excellent. Alright, Rosby's already going on the offensive, but you know what? It will not matter. It will not matter because they all bend the knee to the dragon in time. Okay, who else do we have? Is that it? How about we disband you so we don't lose you guys in a meaningless conflict? Alright, save some soldiers' lives there. Alright, get on the boats. And this will be Caesar. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What the what the hell is this? Uh let's get Ray. And do we have any other dragon riders? We have Daenerys! So, Ray rides Snow, 28-year-old dragon. Um, Daenerys rides Illyrion, the baby. Hmm. And let me guess, um, Boros, Oros Baratheon is riding the other big one, huh? Maraxes, 107, is being ridden by Uncle, Uncle Oris. Which means Uncle Oris will eventually be replaced with Lord Danos, our cousin. He looks quite treacherous, and he'll most likely uh, tame the dragon afterwards, or maybe he won't. Maybe he won't. The practice of the first, first night is fully illegal in New Valyria, and you're not adverse to practicing it from one from time to time. One peasant who had who who you had such an encounter with has had a child. Oh, great! And by all accounts, it looks very much like you, Mera, a strong Westerosi Valyrian. This is not my child. Mera becomes fatherless. Yes, acknowledge it as mine. As regarded as your bastard daughter can be legitimized later. I shall legitimize it. But we've already legitimized Elena. Hmm. Perhaps we should legitimize her as well. Emperor Princess Aurora. She hates us because we've legitimized another bastard. So, I mean, is, is Caesar just going to legitimize every bastard he comes across? Hmm. Let's acknowledge her as ours, but we will not legitimize. Just because, you know, just... I mean, we're not, we can't really afford to legitimize every goddamn bastard we come across, because apparently Caesar's going to leave a lot of them. He might, even, he might even be the guy who creates the new house Blackfire by accident. Wherever I go, all eyes are upon me. One woman in a particular stands out. She's stunningly beautiful and looks at me with such hunger in her eyes. Perhaps I should encourage her. Let's not. Let's restrain ourselves a little bit here, Caesar. I know you're irresistible, but there's more important things going on here. Oh, no. 
Disband. Disband! How many men do we have here? 2,000? My wife, Daenera, is pregnant. Excellent. Oh, no, we don't want to. Let's go over here. Actually, you know what? Let's go here to the gullet and pick up these men. My attempts to sway Samuel has not been in vain. All right. We need to destroy Rosby once and for all. Once and for all. All right. Let's get down here. Your half-sister, Princess Lyanna Targaryen, has died. Oh, she did have cancer for the longest time. Um, let's just do a private funeral after a disagreement with the meal. So she, I guess she choked or something. All right, land the troops here at Rosby, and we'll melt the castle. New Lord Commander on the wall, good for him. Um, let us unleash the dragon. Deploy dragon in the siege. Your enemies think they're safe on the other side of rock and mortar. Do the fools truly believe such petty defenses can hold back your fire? Your fire. Destroy them. Excellent. Your Imperial Majesty, we have taken Rosby, but Lord Cleos Rosby is not here. We will take his whole family into house arrest. Yes. All right, should we continue burning down Rosby? I think that'd be a good idea. Let's uh, let's actually get our morale up here for a moment. And then uh, we have more troops here I want to raise in Duskendale. Apparently, uh, Baratheon's troops are now fighting the Rosby troops in open in open combat. All right, raise the rest of the levies. Bring them here. Lord Lorien of Casterly Rock refused the revocation of High Lordship of Casterly Rock requested by Lord Paramount Samuel of the Westerlands. Ah, defending against Lord Lorien of Casterly Rock in war against the tyranny of Lord Paramount Samuel. Oh, great. Now the reins are going to be overthrown by, uh... <laughs> well, I mean, he was a tyrant. But we really can't afford to let House Rain be overthrown because the Lannisters will take over again. Speaking of, where are the Lannisters? You're Lord of Tendring, High Lordship of Casterly Rock, and you're married to the fucking Martells? Are you kidding me? These damn lions. All right, get over here. I wonder if we can aid Samwell. Samwell Rain. Uh, apparently we can't. All right, that's fine. That's fine. We will win our war here, and then we will sort things out later. We will sort them out later. All right, then you march down here. The Craven. All right, that's fine. That's fine. Getting a lot of little, got a little uh, events going on here. Get these troops together. Get them together. And deploy the dragon again. Deploy the dragon again. Probably actually going to slow it down a little bit, because I feel like I'm putting a lot of strain on the um, on the program here, and it might, it might crash by accident. Okay, we have taken Rosby. Well, we already had taken Rosby, but now we've taken the Sept of Rosby, City of Rosby, the Castle of Drake Castle. All right, get our men together. And my allies are doing most of the heavy lifting for us, which is fine by me. Fine by me. Look into the Dragon Dreams. Apparently, there are no... no there, there, Ooh, your bannerman, Prince Zocolo Horcona, is currently under threat from external enemies. Let's see. Attacking... Wait a minute. Defending against Master Yurkaz of Yaros in slave raid on the Basilisk Isles. And a, a, apparently, Prince Zokohor is also trying to take over the Isle of Lice. Good. It is my duty. Yeah, we need to defend him uh, uh, against slave raids. It's really important. And you know what? I'm sure we can deviate to... Ooh. Alright, we got some men over here. Led by Aethon, the Demon of Hammerhorn. I believe Hammerhorn is in the uh, Iron Isles, I believe. Okay. Turns out they're leaving. All right, prepare the dragon once more. Once more. Devastate the countryside. That's what you get. That's what you get, sir. All right. Actually, no, let's wait. Let's get the rest of our men with us. Oh, yeah. Our, our allies are pouring in to the veil. But you know, there's only one real way to end this conflict. And that is with dragon fire. So we need to go to the veil. We need to go to the eerie and we need to we need to we need to melt the eerie. Fate smiles upon me. My wife, my wife Daenerys is pregnant. Yay! Okay, let's go to the southern finger. That seems to be the closest landing point then go to Hart's home. We'll melt that and then we'll go to the eerie and we'll melt that too. And we will bring the veil to heal. News from the Battle of Coldwater Burn, your Imperial Majesty. Your enemy, Lord Paramount Jonas Aaron, has been slain. He was killed in single combat by the Commander Salal. 
Salal, you, you, sir, you. Can I invite you to my court? No, how dare you? Well, I can't really do anything else for you, but I will send you a gift. A, a, a gift personally from the emperor for slaying that, uh, slaying that, will you marry her? Matrilinear, no. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We will reward Salala with coin for slaying that traitor. Who rules uh, the Eerie now? Some other Aaron. It's just another Aaron. Okay. Seems to be a lot of them. Seven. Um, with my wife Daenerys pregnant, I'm starting to worry if I shouldn't organize something special for this year's harvest right. Pleasing, pleasing could be instrumental to ensure the birth of a healthy child. This is the first child Daenerys is going to give us. So it seems. Um, Ray's already given us technically two. No, no, no. I think one. She gave us one. And Empress Daenera. Oh, that's sad. She's got the... the her hair's actually dark. Her hair is actually dark. We have, um... Well, I mean, she still is High Valyrian. But her hair is dark. She doesn't show the um, actual... Maybe we can we can investigate her legitimacy. Mm, no, it doesn't seem like we can because that certainly would be something. Oh, we should have seen this. Lord Daemon had got with Lady Marjorie of the Reach. Damn it, Daenera, she is not of pure blood. Let's see. I will dedicate the entire festival to to Daenerys. I will make a larger sacrifice in her name. No need to waste money on old superstitions. Yes, we will. We will do this. We will dedicate the entire festival to Daenerys. Probably we should try to sway her. Sway the Empress. She is a lunatic, though. But she's, I mean, I mean, well, yeah. She's arbitrary, ruthless, and a lunatic, and dishonorable. So, your da a daughter was born to Emperor Caesar the Great and Empress Denera of Nublira named Alaris. She's sickly. That's not good. Oh, Daenera? Oh, yeah, Daenera. Oh, okay. Um, guess we'll do struggle again. Alaris. Daenera. How about her grandmother? Marjorie. No. No. Name after mother. Rainies. Elena. What was her name? Alaris. Rayla. Visenya. Visera. Rayla. No, no, no. Danies. You know what? We'll just go with the name it gave us because I don't really care this much about, about this particular child because um, she's not a pure blood. She is not a purebred Valyrian. I mean, well, technically she is, but she's not a pure, pure-born Targaryen, which I should have known because I'm the one, one who set up that marriage. That that uh, that marriage. My wife has really taken on a role as uh, as blank during the festival. She acts as imperious as any goddess would. She is certainly having her fun administering blessings, but her demeanor is always collected and sophisticated. I'm sure her actions will bring prestige to our family name as well as the favor of blank. Look, a lot of text errors. I'm sure this will help deliver her child. Nice. All right, land the troops at Har Hart's home. Court physician Donald is worried about your newborn daughter. Yep, please try to save her. She might not actually live, though, because she is sickly. Sickly baby. It's a sickly baby. All right, land us in Hart's home, and let's melt this place. Melt the Introduce them to the dragon. Do it. There we go. Hart's home has been burned. All right, then there. that's Hart's home, and then we got Castle of Creek Castle, then the Sept. Whatever Archmaester Donald did, I cannot see any improvements in little Alaris. She might not survive. Hmm, that's not good. Apparently we're being attacked by somebody. Maybe, uh, maybe not. Your Imperial Majesty, I will honor my, my allegiance and take up arms to defend the realm. Ah, oh, it's good that you would do that, sir. All right, we're still waiting for the cooldown on the, um, on the dragon ability. Where is this guy? He's leading troops, yes? In Snakewood. What does he have, um, Gallant Maid? Valyrian Steel is a magical alloy invented in Valyria and used to make weapons of unparalleled quality. Lamentation is the Valyrian Steel Sword of House Royce, an old and powerful noble house of the Vale. Predating the Aaron rule of the Vale, they can trace their blood back to the days of the first men who once populated the Vale and their rulers, um, and, the, and, and, and their rule as the Bronze Kings of Runestone until the Andal Conquest in which they were defeated by Artis Aaron, the King of Mountain and Vale, and Gallant Maid. They have they have multiple um, Valyrian swords. I mean, we do too, technically. We do too. We're wielding Blackfire, are we not? Yes. We are wielding Blackfire and Daenerys. Uh, I thought she was wielding... Um, 
Who's wielding Dark Sister? Oh, that's Janix, isn't it? Yes, Janix is will is wielding uh, 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 Dark Sister, and he's living in Yeti right now with our goddamn sword. Maybe his son Anar Targaryen will come and join us. That'd be cool, wouldn't it? Royal invitation by the Emperor. All right. Oh, at the at at first the signs were small, easily dismissed as coincidences. But now they're becoming too frequent to be ignored. The omens surrounding my wife's pregnancy are terrible. No! I sure I am misinterpreting the signs. This is option is available due to your high learning skill. Hopefully they're just coincidences. Um, yes, yeah, surely we are misreading the signs. Surely. Because if we got another child of, of destiny who ends up murdering everyone and becoming Satan, that would <laughs> be quite the twist. It <laughs> would be quite the twist. All right, Dracarys. Burn them all. All right, Heart's home is ours. March on to the Eerie and end House Eren. If we can wipe out his entire court, that'd be awesome. That would be awesome. All right, are we there yet? Almost. Almost. All right, now we just have to kind of chill out here and suffer attrition. But I mean, we don't have that many men, so we don't really have to worry too much. We just need to be there and, ah, oh, here we go. Here we go, it is time to unleash the fire. 80% chance they'll mount a stern defense, but ultimately lose. 20% chance the entire castle populace will be exterminated. Do it. Okay, so, uh, so I mean, we didn't kill everybody in the castle, but we did melt the walls and their armies, and they have all had to capitulate. Yes, your Imperial Majesty, we'll search the dungeons at once. Ooh. They have prisoners, Lord Tristan, Perian, Sir Edison Easting, Varon Blacktide. Drowned, okay. Release all these people. Release them. Now take his family into house arrest. Where is... Where is this guy? Where are you? Leading troops in cold water burn. Ooh. 7,000. Let's keep sieging this. I mean, we could end the war. Yeah, let's, 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 let's end the war here. Enforce demands. The war against the tyranny of Emperor Caesar the Great has ended. The war has been won. The rebels' armies have been crushed by our brave loyalists. I shall remove him. Okay, so we get to choose the fate of the High Septon who rose up in rebellion. And he doesn't like us because... Uh, a female heir, low faith authority, opinion of predecessor, appointed a non-faithful to the king's guard, appointed a foreigner to the king's god. Let him bend the knee, send him to the dungeon. I shall remove his position as High Septon. Bring me his head. As he is not your prisoner, he may rebel or possibly flee. Hmm. Would executing... The High Septon be a good idea. Would that not cause more rebellion, or would it put the people in their place? Let's execute him. Let's increase our fear. Because we are feared at the moment, are we not? Yes, bring me his head. That he would deny the dragon. Bring me his head. Your Kingsguard Roland died of cancer. That's unfortunate. High Septon has declared war of the most devout. Alright. Okay, so Rosby. I, I, I'm not going to take his lands, because that's tyrannical. But, or we're not going to take his head and all his lands, but we will make him forfeit Rosby. And if he wants to rebel, he's well within his right to do so. He will forfeit the veil. Caesar, I find your judgment harsh. Then we will crush you. We will crush you. And then Rosby has risen up in revolt, and we have taken the veil from Lord John of the Fingers. We'll crush him as well. Vacancies become available in the King's Guard. Seven Swords must guard the Emperor. And so your Lord Regent John Aaron. Lord Regent Do John Aaron. Are you kidding me? And so your Lord Regent has chosen a replacement. He chooses Sir Mandon Sunderland. Why the hell would I let the guy who just revolted against me pick my King's Guard for me? Sir Mandon Sunderland. Regent? I don't need a goddamn Regent. Lord Regent John Aaron has chosen a replacement. He's chosen Sir Mandon Sunderland. Was boiled to death on the order of Lord Paramount Janos. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> that's fucking great. Why is a dude who's a traitor deciding my king's guard for me? That's bullshit. So can we take any more titles from you? No. Um, let's execute him. Oh, we can't. All right, who's my hand of the king? No one. Okay, no one is the hand of the king. Let's find somebody who would be a very good person in the court. In the courtroom. Because we will have, uh... 
We'll have Lord Janos here put on trial. We've got Just, we've got Ruthless, we've got Angry. Gregarious, brave, trusting. Oh, unfortunately, a female key cannot be uh, our Archon. Okay. We've got Jalakwo, who is a genius, deceitful, and craven. He might work. He might work. Um, let's see. We've got honorable, authoritative, honest. Balio. Okay, let's pick, let's pick men. And maybe we should do it based off of diplomacy instead. Gregarious, selfish. I forget which which traits are best. Um Alright, let's let's just use the guy we have. We'll use the guy we have. Um Lord Treasurer will be you, Kenrick, and you're gonna collect our taxes. They'll probably just gonna have to rechange all this shit once the war comes to an end. Um Daenerys Jacaris. Jacaris Waters is uh, our rival. Fuck no, he's not gonna be our master of whispers. We'll pick Satara. There we go. Nice. And then the Archon, we're waiting for somebody to join us. All right, go ahead and march back to Hart's home. In fact, get on the ships. Your prisoner, Lord John Aaron, is complaining about his dark cells. No, you Aarons can stay where you are. You can stay where you are, sir. And then once we get our new hand of the king, we could, or rather, new Archon. There we go, Jalakwo. I have personally requested you so you can oversee the trial of Lord John of the Fingers. Call him for a trial. All right, then we need to crush the, the rest of these rebellions here. Lord John Aaron has demanded a trial before the court, which Jalakwo shall oversee to ensure justice is served. It is time to see if him being a genius will actually contribute to his ability to, uh, uh, well, work the courtroom. At the start of the trial, he was formally accused of sedition and conspiracy against the realm, a charge brought by Emperor Caesar Targaryen. Lord John begins to present his, de his defense, and some decent arguments were made. Many in, the court seemed, many in the court seemed to sympathize with him. So he made a strong case. Jalakwo stuttered, stammered, and incoherently rambled. All right, so uh, Jalakwo, apparently being craven, really hurt his ability to make a case. He has been found innocent. I have no choice but to release him. Caesar is a fair ruler. He is a fair ruler. He is not tyrannical. He's not cruel. We shall release him. And it makes us stressed. What? There are too many things to do. Too many things that worries me. I have gained stressed. That's not good. That's not good. It's good tradition to have some gossips around a pregnant woman. We will dispatch some maids. While she's out in, uh, while she's out leading troops in war... We'll put some maids in the followers camp. I'm sure I'm sure that will aid her. That will aid her pregnancy. Alright. Where is the High Septon? Where? Didn't we already burn Rosby? Yes, we did, but we can always burn it again. Um, and then who is this? Master Yazan of Yaros. And the High Septon is where is the High Septon? Where is this guy? Ah, Old Town. So we'll have to stop there too. We don't have to raise too many men, though. We can we can do it with just the amount we have right now. Go down to Rosby, and we will burn it again. And we will destroy Rosby once and for all. Right, how many men could I raise? Another 2,000. Meh. We don't need it. Okay, some day, any day now. Your Imperial Majesty, I believe Rosalind Frey has been in your custody for too long. I hereby offer to pay the ransom to secure her release. I trust you to accept this fair offer. Rosalind Frey, why is she trying to... Oh, Rosalind Frey is her friend. All right, I'll accept. For you, wife, I will do it. All right, burn, burn, Rosby. Your Imperial Majesty, the castle has fallen. The dragon made quick work of it, bathing the defenders in dragon flame. Not one person survived the terror, Florian being amongst the dead. All right, Orstos was killed. Your acquaintance, Lord Luther of Castle Belgrave, was killed. Lucius was killed. Florian was killed. Septon Simon was killed. Harayana was killed. Peter was killed. Excellent. All kneel before the dragon. I really wish that event happened more often. Like I wish, I wish every time you unleash the dragon, it would, it would also kill everybody in the court. But then maybe that'd be a little overpowered. I don't know. I don't know. I do like it though. It is thematic. All right. Retake it. Retaking Rosby. 
You were a fool for rebelling. You should have just accepted our demands. Let's see, can we use the dragon again? No. Let's 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 uh. Ooh. I write on behalf of the bank to express consternation the actions of your bannerman, Lord Yogesh Davin of Omber. He has refused. He has refused to pay his loans. I will pay the interest. Because we're a good guy like that. Let's continue destroying. Oh, Ray. Oh, we can't have Daenerys because she's um. Oh no, she just gave birth. Nice. You have a new heir. If your character dies now, you will play as Jaina Targaryen. Jaina. Our first son. Jaina Targaryen, who is beautiful and most pleasing physique. But he is not a child of destiny, unfortunately. Jaynar is the heir to the Empire. I'm thinking of a good way to sway Empress Daenerys into liking me a bit more. What could possibly titillate the senses of a woman like her? I am feeling inspired today. Write a lewd letter to the Empress. I don't think uh, she'll appreciate that. I'll send her some nice young lads, a highly, highly paid group of harlots. Organize a private encounter. I will write her a lewd letter. We'll see if that uh, if, if that endears her to us. I doubt it will, because she's not lustful. But, you know, can always try. Deploy the dragon. There we go. Oh, shit. While it's doing battle in Edgerton, Balerion was unfortunately wounded. Despite this, he'll be able to continue fighting. Okay, so we're going we're gonna to have to tote back a little bit on the dragon usage. Your Imperial Majesty, the, the, your Imperial Majesty, the castle has fallen. All kneel before the dragon. And apparently we burned a lot of people. Yes. This is what you get, Rosby. This is what happens. I received a response from Empress Daenerys in the letter she wrote of how she sh how much she enjoyed reading the poetic masterpiece that I created for her. Okay. <laughs> All right. I don't know what that, I'm maybe I'm missing something. But we are going to chill it on uh, we're going to cool it with the Let's wait till his movement is locked. Come on. There we go. Pounce. Ambush him, but we will cool that on the on deploying the dragon here because we can't really afford to have Balerion die because that would give all power to House Baratheon, who stole Meraxes. Mm. Nice. All right. Uh, what what is going on? My brother Prince Daron has been mourning the loss of his late life for for his late wife for over a year now and is still reluctant to get remarried. Perhaps I should command him to stop this and marry a match of my choosing. Stop this nonsense, boy. You command Lyanna to stop. Okay, well, that's that's that, that's an error. It's actually we command Daron. Stop this nonsense, boy. Let him grieve in peace. Hmm. And he is our brother, is he not? Our brother, Prince Daron, is still uh, mourning the loss of his sister, Lyanna. We have 14 members of House Targaryen. Perhaps we should command him to get, to get over it. Hmm. We need as many dragons as we can get. Mm. But we don't really have many good matches for him. Uh, Mera. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, what? let him grieve. We don't really have any good matches for him right now, anyways. So we'll just we'll just let him let him do his thing. Emperor Caesar, blah blah blah. Don't care about that. That's not important. Oh, the High Septon. The High Septon. Once Balerion is uh, is 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 healed, we will go down to Old Town and we will destroy the uh, Faith of the Seven. I know that the key to success lies in who I let close to me. No great man ever reached the top without having at least a couple of loyal friends by their side, and I intend to choose only the most useful of people to stand by my side. There are many people clamoring for my attention, but who should I encourage? Someone powerful to aid me if I need help. Lady Sitara, someone in a position to further my goals. Or Maester Giles. Who is this? Lord Stefan of... Wh where is this? Duskendale. Ah, right here. He already really likes us. Th yeah, fine, whatever. We'll become close friends with Duskendale. Do it. What is this? Invite to plot. We'd like you to back our plot to replace Empress Daenerys and become regent. No! How dare you, sir? How dare you? All right, can we take this yet? No. What? Ah, come on. Surely there's a place that's got smaller. What is um? What is this? New Lord Commander. Well, without the dragons, we're gonna be kind of screwed. We got Daenerys here. We got Ray. Ray rides snow, right? 
And snow is of age, I believe. A uh, age to be able to use dragon fire and stuff like that. Yeah. All right. Maybe we should uh, head on down to Old Town. Perhaps. Because Rosby's being, um, Rosby's being kind of stubborn. Rosby's being stubborn. We're going to need to keep sieging them. And we need to get down here and destroy Old Town because the High Septon is getting a pretty damn high war score from just, you know, from not getting his butt kicked. And then the slave raid on the Basilisk Isles is also not going well. We should probably make that more of an effort, put more of an effort into that. But, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to have to end the ep episode here. We have taken the veil. We need, we need a new house to rule the veil. And as always, be sure to leave your comments and suggestions about who should be the new lords of the Vale under the Emperor Caesar of the House Targaryen. But that, ladies and gentlemen, will have to take place in the next episode. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. As always, this has been Crusader Kings 2, The War of Conquest. I have been the Golden Joe Oblivion. And until next time, I will see you all later. Later.